Hi, this is Chris at Connie Technical Support. Today we're going to go over the die wrap series. We have two major types in the die wrap series, the screw type and the clamp type. We've had a lot of questions down in technical support about the application of these products, and today we're going to show them to you. As you can tell, we have a large variety of die wraps, anywhere from the shot glass to the dog bowl, from angled to straight. But as I said before, there are only two major types, the clamp and the screw on. The first type we're going to go over is the clamp die wrap. Now with all die wraps, one thing you want to remember is before using them a second time, you want to allow them to cool from the first heat. Now it takes about two times as long for, for a die wrap to completely cool. So if you want to be able to do them back to back to back, you want to have at least three die wraps. Now with the clamp die wrap, one thing you want to remember is you need a thin layer of talcum powder on there so that it works with the product rather than against it. With the clamp wrap, what you want to have is the male end facing the female end so that it can slide in and then lock and clamp. So you grab your mug, you bring it in so that it's centered, slide it around, may take some maneuvering. You'll slide it in once you get it centered and you'll push until it locks. And then you have a good tight seal on your mug so that it can press evenly through the convection oven. To get it off, you'll simply push on the back side and lift up and you'll pull the wrap off. Now remember, you want to wear gloves through the process, especially when we're moving because the metal is going to be hot from the convection oven. And now we're going to take a moment to discuss the screw on version of the die wrap. And a couple things you're going to need to preserve the life of your die wrap and get the most uses out of it. The first thing we're going to talk about is a greaser. You're going to want to be able to grease the screw that's on your die wrap so that it stays lubricated and doesn't bog down when you're trying to unscrew it and screw it back on. And you're going to need one of the, something similar to this to be able to use as an application tool. You're going to need a greaser that can handle anywhere from 385 to 425 degrees at a minimum, depending on which die wrap you're using and what the instructions call for. You're also going to need a ratchet with either an 11 millimeter socket or a 12 millimeter socket, depending on the die wrap. You can also use, in substitution of the ratchet, a torque wrench. Now, I'd suggest using the ratchet first so that you can get your standard dial in for your torque wrench before using it on a constant basis. And now I'll demonstrate how to apply this version of the die wrap. With the screw wrap, you'll want to center it with your mug with your handle facing out. You'll then wrap it, pull it back a little bit so that you can get a little leeway. And you'll slide it through as such. You do want to center up the handle so that it doesn't get too tight on one side. Once you have it on there, you'll then finger tighten the screw all the way in. Once you have it nice finger tight, almost, some of you may do a little less than me. You'll take your ratchet and you'll give it two solid full turns, so four half turns, to get the preferred tightness on your wrap. And of course, to take it off, you just reverse your ratchet. Might take a little few more turns. I hope that this video has helped you with any of your die wrap application questions. If you have any questions about the products we've shown here, don't hesitate to call your account rep. If you have any more technical questions, please call us at Condi Technical Support. Once again, I'm Chris. Thank you for watching.